Hello class, my name is Jack Elida and today I'll be talking about the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. This is comprised of eight member nations, China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, India, Pakistan, and Uzbekistan. It was formed in 2001 and its predecessor, the Shanghai Five, consisted of five of these nations. The SEO has established relations with the United Nations in 2004 and is an observer in the General Assembly. The SEO has two permanent bodies, the Secretariat in Beijing and the Executive Committee of the Regional Anti-Terrorist Structure, or RATS, in Tashkent. The Council of Heads of States is the paramount decision-making body in the SEO. This council meets at the SEO summits which are held each year in one of the member states' capital cities. The chairman of the summit alternates each year between the member nations, and the chairman for 2021-2022 is Tajikistan. The official working languages of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization are Chinese and Russian. And along with the eight member nations, there are six dialogue partners who do not have any voting powers, but are considered in the matters. These states are Armenia, Azerbaijan, Cambodia, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Turkey. And this is a security alliance, but it is not a military alliance. The Secretariat of the SEO is a primary executive body of the organization and coordinates the activity of the SEO and provides informational, analytical, legal, organizational, and technical support. Summits of the Council of the Heads of State are held annually at alternating venues depending on who is the summit chairman. At these summits, bills are brought to the floor and all voting states must be in favor of them for them to pass. To become a member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, states in the Eurasian territory must apply to be an observer nation first. After the observer period is complete, then the state can apply for full membership. Nations must be committed to the problems presented by the SEO and cannot have conflict with any of the current member states. When it was initially enacted as the Shanghai Five, its goal was to ensure security and maintain stability across the vast Eurasian region. But as the organization has grown, its problems mainly concern security-related concerns, resolving border issues, military cooperation, intelligence sharing, countering terrorism, and countering American influence in Central Asia. When we look at the effectiveness in a line with the SCO's goals, we can see that stability has been achieved through the SCO, especially in border security and terrorist uprising. Another one of their goals which has been achieved was a decline in influence from Western threats. Many see the Shanghai Cooperation Organization as an Eastern NATO. However, its focus is on internal threats, which is ineffective when it comes to foreign policy.